Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Not Only Is It Done. This is Shadow Fury 333 with a different match than the one I expected, because apparently the one that I was expecting to cast was actually done with the zombies mode on, and the match page doesn't tell me these things. I rather wish it did. Anyway, we're going to be moving on instead to a game between Flipstiff and the Sponge, Untitan Duel. This map being probably one of the better light vehicle maps I've mentioned before, talked about this before. Those of you not familiar, this map, corner starts, and the corners are basically where the players try to go, usually spreading along either, usually it's north-south, like the northwest player goes south, the southeast player goes north, and they also try to take the center as well, but yeah, those corners, those are the first places that people go. As well, these areas here between the holes, those are actually really important, especially for Scorcher play. There's a lot of times where you see Scorchers just blocking off of the Scorchers from getting in just by moving around. There's a lot of good play that can be had there. Curious if the players are actually going to go and do that. So, Sponge starting... Actually, both players starting with their scouts, though Flipster being much more aggressive, not even having Masons. The Sponge going for very early Mason instead. And Flipstip is going for a very aggressive start indeed. So it's going to be three Scorchers into the Mason, which is surprising, to say the least. That is going to be very powerful, but it's also just... It's powerful, but sheesh, that is going to be hard to... It's going to be hard to continue with. Like, the Sponge, they're getting up their Scorchers just now. It's going to be... It's going to be a little while for Flipstiff Scorchers to get in. Not to mention, Flipstiff not even building directly the Scorchers. They're actually... I think they're going to start falling behind very quickly. The Sponge already expanding with both. And they have their defenses. Most importantly, they have their defenses. That's the biggest thing. Like, the Dart's dealing a bit of damage, but the Sponge can just block off everything. Whereas, Flipstiff... They have one Scorcher. I mean, they're going for a bit of a rush strategy, but they didn't really protect power. They didn't set up the Scorchers as quickly as they could have. I think if they had set up all three Scorchers, like, high priority, gotten those done first, they'd be in a much better position to be able to harass very strongly right now. But as it is, they're in no better military position than the Sponge, and the Sponge is in a much better, well, at least in theory, better economic position. Flipstip is, not do Flipstip is not doing too bad for only having the one. Mostly because the Sponge has left their commander somewhat idle, pushing workers out instead. Commander seems to be more used for the, the defense, I suppose. But yeah, okay, now the Sponge is setting with both. Because that's the Sponge's biggest advantage until this one Mason's done. But for now, that's their big advantage over Flipstip. Yeah, I'm just surprised Flipstip did not focus on that early Scorcher, and that's... That's weird. I mean, they were going for super early military. Maybe they didn't think it was super early military. Maybe they thought it was kind of normal military. And I thought, okay, well, I'll just, I'll do it whenever it's done. Rather than, I gotta do this quickly because the sponge is leaving themselves, or might be leaving themselves open, and I can go in for a big harassment attack. Because, I mean, that was, that was like 390 metal worth of scorchers right there. I mean, if you think about what's considered to be a bad investment for scouting, opening scouting, it's like 120 metal in a couple of glaives when you're dealing with Clickybot Factory. So yeah, one Scorcher, that's like a scouting run. Three to five Scorchers, that is an attack run. That's what the Sponge is doing too, but yeah, that's an attack run. That's something you want to focus on. It's something you want, like, you want to get that up quickly so they can make the most of it before your opponent gets the defender's advantage to work in their favor. But at this point, we're going to see if the Sponge can actually make, well, their massive force work because this... Flipstip is not well equipped for this. Although it looks like the sponge is playing it cautious. They don't want to go in too far. I can respect that. I mean, they are at an economic advantage as it is. They don't need to push that hard. Like, they went for an economy early. They went for an early Mason. They have, they have a bunch of reclaim now too. Heck, they just need a bit more power. But yeah, they're in no rush. You know, keep Flipstip contained. But yeah, don't deal too much damage. Don't give Flipstip the way back. So I, I respect the way the Sponge is doing this. But Flipstip, on the other hand, Flipstip does need to harass. They do need to get out of this. They need to do what they can to make sure that the Sponge can't get away with getting rid of that mechs for free. But at this point, it has been free. And the Sponge not building up the defenses quickly enough. Now we see some cost for it. Now the Sponge is losing some units. But Flipstip, that was a big loss before. I mean, now they have some reclaim. They have a few hundred metal reclaim. That'll help, but still... They need a lot more. However, there has been some stagnation with the Sponge's expansion, so Flipstip has a chance to get out of this. The Sponge did need to build more power, they weren't really focusing on that, they weren't multitasking super well. So, Flipstip does have a chance. They could build a couple more metal extractors, and then, I mean, they're going to just need to expand, of course. 
Oh, but now the Flipsip loses all of their Scorchers. That's that's painful. The Sponge getting another shot at just taking out Flipsip's base. Oh, are they aware of that? I don't think the Sponge is aware of that leveler, but they might as well be having just run away. So the Sponge, yeah, they're gonna have to deal with the leveler. Good choice, Flipstep. I mean, they're not gonna be able to win. They're not gonna catch up on re on the mass forces. The Scorchers, that Scorcher count goes to the Sponge. And there we go. There is some harassment coming in here. The worst possible path to harass, but still some harassment. Now, pointing out, the defenses are actually very... I know, defenses are non-existent. Like, seriously, the main base is open. If Flipstep... I mean, I don't think Flipstep knows this. If they were to take that risk, they would be rewarded handsomely. But at this point, no, they're not going for it. However, now... That, okay, this is a better... The much, much better angle. A little bit laggy. No surprise, you have half a second ping. Wow, half a second? Seriously? Yeah, there's been a lot of discussion about ping recently. Partly because the servers moved from, I think, Belgium to Canada. I think to Eastern Canada, so it's... Uh, the lag's a bit higher for European users. But yeah, still 300, 400 milliseconds. That's not what the ping time... The ping time should be closer to 120 or 150. Like, taking into account, like, jitter buffering and such. Being ping times this high makes me think that the engine is not being the most efficient when it comes to dealing with this stuff. And I, I've said as much in the threads. Anyway, Leveler did not work out. Bit of a shame, that, because that was that was Flipstip's ace in the hole there. But yeah, it's kind of tough to make that work. I mean, two or three Levelers would do just fine, but they're, like, one Leveler thinking that would be the trump card. Did not work out. Now Flipstip's going to lose their commander and this entire firebase. I think Flipstip's probably going to just get torn to shreds. Useful burst. Got, getting rid of a lot of that, but even then... Even then, the sponge... They can just run away from this. Yeah, they lost a few Scorchers. There's some reclaim to be had, but... This is huge. Yeah, not sure. I mean, Flipsip is in Switzerland, so... For before, it probably would have been closer to 150 to 200 milliseconds of ping. I don't know if it's the ping. Yeah, your ping is fine. Your ping is in the half-second range, which... Sheesh. I, I keep forgetting RTS games are not that ping-sensitive. Compared to fighting games, where, like, even... 50 milliseconds, if it's applied to input delay, is just a pain to play with. Anyhow, back to the back to the game in question. Okay, this level is working a bit better, but still, like, Flips are just being hit on all sides. Finally, that level, levelers do some work, but still, like, you need more levelers. You just, you can't win the Scorcher game anymore. I can see why you're building more Scorchers, just to have, you know, a bit of force projection, be able to harass around. In the hypothetical that you get rid of all the sponges, Scorchers, you can harass with your own. That makes sense. To that end, however, a couple levelers will be necessary. And the sponge just continuing to expand. No factory change. The Their back of their base is still totally undefended. I mean, they, they still only have that one Lotus. Two Lotuses now. That's it. Their commander is morphed beam laser, so they basically have three LLTs walking around the map. Flip something in their hand, much more thoroughly defended. But even then, that's not enough. There are so many Scorchers coming in here. Looks like Flips, are they finally starting to turn this around? Are they finally starting to get the Scorcher game working in their favor? I mean, they do have all this Reclaim, which... Well, yeah, 1,000 Metal Reclaim, that's pretty good. They need, to take, they need to take it now, though. And unfortunately, they don't even have the energy to take it. They'd be accessing. And I think this is probably going to be it. I don't see the Sponge having a, much of a hard time just pushing through from here. There are a lot of defenses. It may still be too much of a problem. The sponge is pulling back. Want to pull back. Want to regroup. Get rid of this. This is the most important thing right here. This worker, this mason here. Yeah, it needs to go. Because that was five metal per second. That was three metal extractors right there that were killed by killing that mason. That's how big of a deal it is. Hmm. Yeah, I've never really heard of anybody having more than having less than like 300, 400 milliseconds ping, so I don't know what it is. But then again, I'm playing from Western Canada, and the server is now, or the server was like in Belgium or something. But yeah, these levelers, you need more of them. It's just, Scorchers can dive anything. You rip it to shreds. I'm actually a little surprised that levelers do so poorly against Scorchers, but they do. And now the sponge, like pure Scorcher monospam, they've actually been able to get away with it just because... There haven't been enough levelers to deal with it. Like, the sponge hasn't been forced to respect Flipstip's levelers. 
because Flipsips hasn't built enough. Okay, there we go. Flips are going mono. They're going mono leveler. No, they're going heavy reclaim. Interesting. They want to reclaim all this stuff right here. Use all that metal as quickly as they can because what else are they gonna do? Oh, never mind. It's not mono spam. Ravagers exist too. They're a thing. What's left of them? These Ravagers are actually in a terrible position right now. Getting nicely pincered. I mean, that's gonna that's gonna be a good blow. Flipstip taking that out. Ooh, one one Ravager left. No, two Ravagers left. Not quite one. Still, not a bad blow. And of course, all inside of the sponge's territory, or all inside of Flip's territory, but the sponge, I should say, the sponge's territory, a bit of a slip there, because there goes the sponge to take that territory, make it their own. They do not want to have that, and like I said, they don't respect the leveler. Nor should they, that one leveler isn't been enough. And down goes this area, I mean, at least the reclaim was partially taken. Not much, though. There's more now than there was before they started, before Flips have started to reclaim that. And now the Sponge, you know, losing a few Scorches here and there, but they have the map. They have no worries. Flipstip has been trying to fight uphill this entire time. They have not been able to do so. I'm just surprised they haven't built as many levelers. Now they're finally going mass leveler. But still, I think it might be too late. I, I don't see them getting out of this very quickly, if at all. That kind of sucks. I was hoping this would be a bit more of an even game, but really, Flipstip... They didn't take advantage of that early expand or early harassment possibilities. They didn't really push those scorchers when they're going for three scorchers, and as a result, the sponge just got most of the map. It's got more territory. It's got more scorchers. It's been just they've been snowballing ever since, and Flipstep hasn't gone for the levelers quickly enough. Also, losing that early scorcher again, pincered very early on right here. Their own scorchers getting destroyed that quickly, that was a big blow. But even before then, Flipstep was just getting ahead. Sorry, no, the sponge was getting ahead, not Flipstep. Well, this is going to be it. The Sponge going in for the kill blow, and that's going to close out this game. Those are the only ones I really had on... Well, I guess I did find it off the bat, but I think it will just end with this. Sorry if it's a little disappointing, but yeah, I think I'm just going to end the stream with this, because I don't really want to cannibalize Saturday stuff. Saturday is probably going to be Clan Wars, if not, or possibly even with that. I plan to do... There's some matches that were in the tournament. I think it was... I don't know who it was, but there were some matches that were pointed out that were really good matches to cast. I want to say Clone versus Google Frog in the winner's bracket, but I'm not totally sure. At any rate, people were pointing those out as really good matches from last, like, two weeks ago's tournament. Well, last month's tournament, really. That will be cool. I'd like to see that. But Clan Wars will take priority. That is more of a up, more of a recent thing. However, I don't know if it's going to be Clan Wars. It doesn't. It's not promising. It doesn't look like there will be. So we'll see what happens, and why has the game gone off? Oh, there we go. That was weird. That was weird again! What is going on here? Darn a game, it can't be that hard. Anyway, yeah, so that's... That's the thing, that's the plan for Saturday. Anyhow... The sponge is actually being rather cautious. Don't want to move in too quickly. I mean, I guess they respect the levelers now, if that's all there is. Scorchers actually, yeah, they can't really move in. Those levelers are now a problem. Flips up able to probably not stabilize that quickly, but still it gives them a bit of a chance. I think the Scorchers could get through though, even with four levelers. Especially if the Scorchers were not to bunch up. If they spread out enough that the levelers only killed like three or four of them in a volley, then yeah, there are enough Scorchers here. Like 30 Scorchers, that'll do it. That'll get rid of them in no time. Seriously, what's going on with the FPS? Anyway. That's... That'll be... it. Oh, I see. It's, it's maxing out the CPU, that's why. So yeah, that is probably going to be... Actually, not necessarily game. Flipstep holding it. Flipstep continuing to hold. They're way behind, though. I mean, militarily and economically, they're a third of the sponge right now. I think at this point, what the sponge needs to do is set up some more of their own. That'll probably do the trick. Get a couple Wolverines, set up a bunch of mines around here, and then like use that comic advantage that way. Or in this case, he's going for the heavy factory. I guess they're going for Reapers just to push through, break in, try to take all that out. Why is this stuttering? Like seriously, why is this stuttering? What the heck? Is
Sorry about that. Spring was being weird and then it had a context promo that didn't happen. It's been a when you alt tab. You have no idea what is going on? What's all going on right now? I mean, I would pause this if it weren't for the fact that it's basically almost done. But I'm finding this really weird. Anyway, sorry about that. That's my own technical issues. They're not really relevant to the game. No, it's just Spring. Spring is just using up a ton of CPU time. For some inexplicable reason, far more than mo far more than usual. Although the sponge really could go for the kill right now, or at least they're actually getting it harder and harder on themselves. Like the longer they wait, the harder it is to kill. Heavy tanks are up though. Reapers are up. It looks like we are going to get about five or six reapers probably, and then the final assault. And the ravagers are actually not doing that great of a job. The levelers are taking care of them. I mean, despite the fact that Ravagers have more health, Levelers just have a ton of firepower, they have a very fast shot speed, they have the splash damage. But even then, it looks like the Ravagers are going to overwhelm. Or are they going to overwhelm? No, not quite. Nope, that's just feeding it. Good use of Stardust and Faraday. That's... Getting rid of one of the Stardusts at least, but even then, that's not enough. That The sponge can't break through. Trying to take the win, and with... Okay, three Reapers should be enough. Of course, what's kind of embarrassing in a way is that they could go over to the side. They're focusing down the center area, and they actually are. The Sponge realizing that maybe it's worth checking out the sides, and yes, yes, it very much is. This is exactly what they should do. There we go. And the Sponge now taking out, because realizing, hey, wait a sec, that front line's super protected. What's the back line like? The back line is nothing. There is nothing here. Nothing at all. This, these Scorchers have free reign. Except for this. That That's going to be death. But yeah, otherwise, those Scorchers are in a really good spot right now. Except that one. That one's in a terrible spot because it went to the wrong side of the fusion plant. Still, at least they're aware that the defenses are not as strong as they seem up at the front. Okay, th these Reapers are enough. Th these Reapers should... Eight Reapers? Yeah, come on. What you waiting for? Like, the sponge is so far ahead that I don't know what they're afraid of anymore. Like, it really is a matter of the longer they wait, the more they give to Flipstep as possible ways of getting back. Now, Flipstep does only have about 20 metal. They do have a fair amount of reclaim, though. I mean, they, they, it's not that easy to take. It's not guaranteed reclaim, but they are taking what reclaim they can get. They get in that little bit of extra... Get it? Extra economy. Get that. Make it work. Because if they do that, then they can build that Strider, and from there, probably not win. I mean, that's that's five or six Reapers. That's Strider level of cost. But, yeah, I mean, the fact is they've been given a lot, of, a large chance to come back, and unfortunately not quite able to take it all. The Sponge does attack in time as the Strider Hub completes, and that is probably going to finish it off. Maybe? I don't know. What are they waiting for? Seriously, they, they could go in and kill right now. And this Strider Hub is basically ready to do whatever it needs to do. Build up a Dante, getting Dominatrix as well, because why not? But yeah, build up a Dante, build up Ultimatum maybe? Like, instead of an Ultimatum, just rip apart all these Reapers right in one go. That was Lottery's suggestion in one thread somewhere. It's like, yeah, maybe. Maybe try it out, see what happens. And Missile Silo from the Sponge, because they're just not sure they can break through. They can totally break through. Like, this is... This is something they can do. Even with the Dominatrix in the way, they can break through this. The Reapers have enough health. And also, they don't have to... Oh, to be more precise, they just did. They just broke through it. Like, this is it. That, and this Stardust, and a couple other small things. That's basically all there is left to break through. And with that gone, that's... Pretty much gonna be it. Flipstep is holding on quite well, though. But surprisingly, why is the Strider Hub not building anything? That should be building something. Kind of a waste, otherwise. And in come the Infernos. Is that an Inferno? That is... No, that's an Aos. Straight up Aos, tactical nuke. Well, got rid of the fusion plant, at least. Should slow Flipstep down a little bit, but not much. 
is this? That is another Eos. Another one in the factory should do the trick. Even with the repair, that should be enough. Should get rid of it, but I don't know. Are they, gonna, are they should... Right now? No, not building anything. What the heck, the sponge? Okay, flips have finally thrown in the towel. Even with the Scorchers turning traitor, it's not enough. These Scorchers... I mean, without the without those starters there, the, the Scorchers can't actually get in and kill things. That's the important point. And kill things they do. And that is game... A weird, slightly lopsided game that I did not expect to have happen the way it did. I thought it would be much more even. But yeah, Flipstep kind of threw away the early harassment and never really recovered into an economically favorable position and thus never really got the units they needed to actually do what they needed to do. So, good job, Sponge. The economic opening worked beautifully. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. That is going to be it for me tonight. So, thank you for watching. Once again, Saturday's probably going to be Clan Wars, but if not, then it's going to... What the heck? Probably going to be Clan Wars. If it's not Clan Wars, then it will be some matches from the tournament two weeks ago that I didn't get to cast because I was casting other matches at the time, but that are apparently really good and worth casting. One of the two, or both, will be on Saturday. So, tune in for that. But until then, that's going to be it. So, thanks for watching again, and have a good night, everyone.